Hello, welcome to Credit Matters TV. I'm Jeff Sexton. Today I'm joined by Deep Banerjee for discussion of U.S. life insurers and commercial real estate. Deep, thank you for joining us. Deep, when it comes to U.S. life insurers and commercial real estate, this is a new phenomenon that has become an old phenomenon. Can you talk to us a little bit about the history and levels of U.S. life insurers' investment into commercial real estate? Not many people realize that U.S. life insurers are actually a significant investor in commercial real estate in the United States. Uh, they've been in this space for a while, and I feel like every year they solidify their position as a key investor in this marketplace. So if you look at uh, recent data that MBA published uh, so far this year, they're the third largest holder of commercial real estate debt in the country after banks and CMBS conduits. Um, and this, they right now are showing no signs of slowing down either. When it comes to mortgage loan origination, most com people don't think of a life insurance company. What did our research find with regards to commercial real estate and mortgage loan origination? Yeah, so when you think of mortgages, you think of banks, right? Uh, but, uh, com but when you think of commercial mortgages, life insurers play uh, pretty significantly in this space as well. Um, commercial mortgages generally account for about 10 to 15 percent of a life insurer's investment in invested assets. Um, now, most of these mortgages are actually relatively good quality in our view in terms of LTVs like loan to values or debt service coverage, especially compared to some of the other key investors in this marketplace. Um, so far this year, they are on track to once again get to a record year. And when I say once again, this will be if they do it, it would be the fourth year in a row that they will have a record year of mortgage originations, mm -hmm. uh, which is pretty significant. Uh, obviously, when there is something like this where there's big growth in anything, we are concerned uh, from a credit perspective. But what uh, alleviates some of the concern is the fact that we have seen quality not deteriorate. So their loan to values and debt service coverage still remain at the levels where we, where we find some amount of comfort. When it comes to commercial real estate and commercial mortgages, first thing that comes to investors' minds is often commercial mortgage-backed securities. How has the U.S. life insurance industry approached this area and this asset class? Sure. So commercial mortgage-backed security investing by life insurers actually, interestingly, has taken kind of uh, two paths, I would say. So whereas, I, like earlier I spoke about mortgage loans, that's pretty much homogeneous in the way most life insurers are investing in that. But when it comes to CMBS, so one group, which is actually the larger group of insurers that we read, have either kind of held on to the amount of CMBS they have, they have or actually declined their CMBS holdings over the last two years. Also, they have maintained kind of higher quality CMBS holdings. And by higher quality, I mean like higher rating, higher up in the waterfall. The smaller group, uh, which is kind of the interesting divergence that we have seen, have actually increased during the same period of time their CMBS holdings, some companies as much as 50%. Uh, and the companies that have seen significant growth are actually growing where we are probably a little concerned, lower down in the waterfall or lower in the credit quality. Now we, we run, as you know, every year a kind of QCIP by QCIP analysis on CMBS holdings of all our insurers. And when we have done this over the last couple of years, we have seen that the capital charges of CMBS security is actually higher. And we feel part of the reason is that the quality of underwriting or the loan to value, so the debt service coverage are actually different in these two, uh, um, these two asset classes. So taking that into account, do we expect U.S. life insurers to continue to be invested in commercial real estate? Absolutely. Uh, I think this is an area that they are interested in that gives them good yield, relatively good yield. Uh, it's a long-term nature uh, asset, which means that they can match uh, their long-term liabilities to their long-term assets. Uh, and also, over the last few decades, really, they have created a good skill set in this. They are able to do this well. They're able to pick up good quality property, especially with the direct lending. And as long as especially this interest rate environment being low, I think they will look to this space as a way to get better yield. So an interesting tale of two cities when it comes to U.S. life insurers and commercial real estate. Absolutely. With that, I'd like to thank Deep Energy for joining us. From all of us here at Standard & Poor's, thank you and take care.